12 guys. Damn, the sun's in our... In Not our, even the sun, it's just... The light. The, the, yeah, the brightness. Hey guys, uh, quick announcement before the video starts. Uh, we start uh, our new vlog channel and it will be down in the description below. So make sure and go and check it out. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and the vlogging video. Hey people, how's it going? Me and my brother wanted to start interacting with our subscribers more often, so we decided and are proud to announce what we call our happy subscriber vids. This is where we let you guys choose the topics of what kind of top 5 videos you want to see next. So start commenting down below or comment on our Twitter and we will start pleasing you guys with the videos you want to see. With that being said, enjoy this video and have yourself some awesome day. So how does a country make it in the top 5 list of the most dangerous countries? Countries are measured by Peace score. What is a Peace score? Well, let's give it a quick wiki and find out. The Global Peace Index or Peace score is an attempt to measure the relative positions of nations and regions peacefulness. It is a product of the Institute for Economics and Peace and developed in consultation with an international panel of peace experts from peace institutes and think tanks with data collected and collated by the Economist Intelligence Unit. The security situation in Somalia remains unstable and dangerous. Terrorist operatives and armed groups in Somalia continue to attack Somalia authorities. Kidnapping, bombings, murder, illegal roadblocks, banditry, and other violence incidents are common throughout Somalia. Al Shabaab remains intent on conducting attacks against popular restaurants, hotels, locations known to be popular with Westerners, and convoys carrying Somali and other government officials. The situation in Afghanistan remains unstable. Terrorist attacks, demonstration and riots, militant attacks, explosives such as IEDs, direct and indirect fire, suicide bombings, property damage and disputes, very limited communications and crime are just few of the things you will encounter if traveling to Afghanistan. Traveling to Iraq remains very dangerous. Terrorist violence and kidnappings are very high risk. The most active terrorist group in Iraq is ISIS. Explosive form penetrators, also known as EFPs, magnetic IEDs placed on vehicles, human and vehicle borne IEDs, mines placed on or concealed near roads, mortars, rockets, and shootings are an everyday thing in Iraq. You are guaranteed to have a blast in Iraq, literally. There's a travel warning on South Sudan due to the ongoing fight and violence. Aid workers have been the targets of shooting, ambushes, assaults, harassment and robberies, some resulting in death, not to mention carjackings and banditry. The Juba International Airport is open 7 days a week but is closed 11 hours of the day from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. due to the violence. The Syrian regime has used deadly force to quell anti-government protests and is engaged in a full-scale civil war with armed groups. The government is no longer in control of most of the country. Armed groups have utilized car bombs, IEDs, sniper fire and carried out kidnappings. The Syrian military have used missiles, aerial attacks and heavy artillery, also chemical weapons against civilians and extremist groups such as Al-Qaeda and ISIS. 